Good morning and welcome to Redeemer. If this is your first time joining us, especially your first time joining us online, then I would love for you to be willing to fill out the link below. It's a new visitor card for us to get some of your information so we can reach out and keep in touch with you. And we also have a special gift for you if you're willing to fill that out. If this isn't your first time here and maybe you're a long time member, we would really love for you to share this uh, package of videos, this playlist with a friend or someone uh, who you care about so that you can invite them to church. Church has uh, changed a lot. This is where me and my wife do church. We sit and we have church on our couch and we throw it up on our TV. We normally squeeze it in while our daughter Adeline is taking a nap and we're able to have some time where we're able to worship God together. This is a really easy time for you to be able to invite a friend or a loved one to church and they don't even need to leave their house. They can just throw it on their TV and join us. Last week, we unveiled uh, these four activities that we're really hoping that you all can become a part of and join in. And those four things that we're looking for everyone to be willing to do to grow their faith in this time is to worship, to serve, to connect, and to devote. You're here with us in worship, uh, but I wanted to give a couple of updates. We gave a serve mission of caring for a co-op, a food kitchen, uh, this last week. And our hope was that we would uh, be able to donate at least 250 items. Well, over the last week and, and of Thursday when I'm filming this video, we have donated as a church over 500 items to a local co-op to be able to care for people. You guys, this church is a church that is caring for its neighborhood and its community well, even when we're trying to take care of ourselves. Another thing I really wanted to, to bring up is our Tuesday and Thursday small group mixers. If you haven't had a chance to jump onto one of those, we would really encourage you to jump onto one of those small group mixers, seven o'clock on Tuesday or Thursday night. Don't try and join both, just jump into one of them and find kind of the depth of what community has, for, has here for you. We would love for you to be able to join us on either of those nights. If you're looking for the link, you can email us and we'll send you the Zoom link so that you can join in. The world kind of continues to change and as we're continuing to get updates on uh, the current crisis, our session has been meeting every, every week to be able to keep on top of things and to be able to make some of these major decisions. And so we have one of our session members this week who's gonna give us an update. Take it away, Bazzi. Hi, my name is Bazzi L. Pierce and I have the privilege of serving as one of Redeemer's elders. I wanted to give you a quick update on behalf of the elders as we want you to be very well informed as we move forward. We've been meeting weekly to stay in touch, to plan wisely, and to pray for our church family and friends. Many of you are aware of the governor's recent announcement to open portions of Georgia's economy. His decision also included allowing churches to meet. As elders, we are charged with taking care of God's flock and his people whom we are responsible for. That includes the spiritual and physical welfare of you, our Redeemer family. While we understand the economic and personal concerns behind the governor's decision, we don't believe it wise for us to restart our in-person gatherings just yet. As the Apostle Paul said, all things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. So we are planning to continue to meet together remotely until we see clear indicators that it's safe for us to gather together in one place. There are many ways we can connect remotely here through the Sunday worship package, through Bible studies, Sunday school, as well as through the Tuesday and night Zoom, Tuesday and Thursday night Zoom meetings and any other way you've already been connecting remotely. Please know that you are loved and prayed for regularly. Your elders will continue to monitor the clo closely the situation and are actively seeking the collective mind of Christ as we navigate the way forward for Redeemer. We are all eager to reconnect with one another and we need to make sure that it's safe to do so when we do so. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to update you. Now let me hand it back to Dan so we can, get, we can collect our hearts and minds and ready them for worship. Be blessed. Thank you so much, Baziel. I'm so glad that we got that update from you that we can know kind of where we're gonna be going as a church, knowing that we're making every step we can to keep ourselves safe, but also to be able to continue to spend times like this in worship. As we've kind of spent some time going over a few announcements, I know that there's a lot going on in your life, so take a minute and prep your heart, prep your space. If you need to take something out of the way so that you can be ready for worship, this is the time in your week when you get to be with God and let all other distractions fade away. So would you take a moment with me in prayer 
that we can prepare our hearts and our minds to be able to worship him. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you that you um, are here with us in our living rooms, on our couches, uh, around our tablets or our computers or our TVs. Lord, your presence is here with us. Lord, I pray that this week would be one where we come to you ready to hear your word, ready to declare that you are glorious and you are good and you are mighty. Lord, I pray that this would be a time when we worship you with our whole hearts and we come into your presence and leave it changed. In your name we pray. Amen.